ever wish you could build your own AI agent without even writing a single line of code? Let me show you how easy it actually is. Alrighty folks, so we are logged into Area today on area.ai and we are going to create our own AI agent, folks. So all of the links will be in the pinned comments and the top of the description of this video when you are ready to get involved into Area. So what we do, we can actually go ahead and have a quick look at the dashboard. It's all here, okay? Community, welcome, insights, got the components section, evaluations, knowledge, and feeds. You can have a bit of a look there. Now, what we're going to do as well is go over to quick actions up here, the blue button, and we are going to click create agent to show you how easy and effective this process actually is. All right, so it's super simple to actually go ahead and create an agent, okay? So what you wanna do is press this add a new agent button and there are many different customizations you can set in place to really just optimize your agent. All right, folks, so the layout's gonna be pretty easy to understand here. We've got the input, okay? Which we can sort of rename if we need to, okay? So for example, say you just wanna go ahead and modify this. You can have things like text input, which is selected now. You can also do like image input if you want as well, okay? And you can also do your own video input too, okay? If you choose to select that as well. But at the moment, we do have it set to just the regular text input at the moment. Then after the input, you've got your actual AI model section here, okay? So again, we can bin that, change it if we need to. Very easy drag and drop system, okay? So this is currently set to Claude for Sonnet, okay? And then simply you're going to have your output that comes in after that, okay? So over here, all right, you've got the section where you can add all these components to the canvas, okay? So you've got the different AI models which you can choose here, okay? So say, for example, we just want to go with ML model here. You can essentially take that and look at that. You can just drag that onto here, okay, if we are sort of not happy there. So it's really simple. This is why I like it. You can just easily drag and drop, all right? So Claude Force on it. Let's get rid of that, okay? Let's bring that over here. Make sure that just aligns, okay? And bang, we can just test this here. All right, and there we go, okay? So that's basically sets that up there, okay? You can basically test it, okay? So this is now with the Claude Force Sonnet model, all right? And we can ask it something like, uh, how big is an elephant something like this okay so it executes the agent flow and very quickly it just brings up all the data and the information okay so as you can see all right and obviously you can customize this and get this very specific to your exact needs but all the data comes up there okay that's just on the test view all right just to show you okay so very very easy and effective once we've done that there we can exit that all right so i just did test there but of course once you're happy you would go ahead and press publish, okay? So again, we've got the Claude 4 Sonnet in place there, but you've got the different models, which you can also choose from, okay? So again, just to emphasize on the drag and drop system, really, really easy. It's just like the first days of Squarespace, how it was so easy to build a website. So Area really is an sort of like a enterprise AI orchestration, okay? It brings every agent, every model, and every workflow just into the one place to make things easy for you as someone that maybe doesn't have a lot of experience in AI. It makes things a lot easier for you to build, so you don't have to pay a lot of money to leave it up to the more quote-unquote professionals in the space. What's also really cool about Area is that you can also actually add in any LLM that you actually want. OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, or Mistral, all inside one place inside the one builder. So just to give examples of how this can really be used effectively in a business, okay, you can do things like summarize your daily Slack updates. So if you're in like a, a small startup or something and you want to just like summarize all of the updates in a Slack file, you can do that really easy, okay? So say, for instance, here you've got data source here, okay? So see how it says user personal files, okay? So you can actually upload like Slack files, okay? So it might be like Slack file week summaries for like week one in November, for example, okay? You basically upload that, all right? And that gets input into the AI and is able to basically break it down. So you might ask a question like regarding the Slack files saying sort of like, okay, what are the top three most important things from this week according to the Slack files? And it would give you that output. You've also got other sections here, which are really easy to manage where you can like have tools in here. So if you're looking for tools at MCP servers, right, you can actually add a model to the canvas and actually select it, which is really, really cool. Okay, and find extra tools there on the sidebar as well. All right, you've got the flow control. 
Okay, so different little bits here. Okay, so say, for example, you want to get human approval put in place. Okay, that pauses execution for human review and approval. So say it's something where you want to, yeah, get that action performed, but you just need like, I don't know, maybe your manager to look over it or something. They will get prompted in after you put this human approval in. Okay, it's just an example of something that you can adjust with the flow control. Okay, you got memory settings as well. All right, which is pretty good. And there may be certain things that you actually do want to save when it comes to this, certain things that you don't want to save, okay, depending on your, your storage capacity there as well, okay, there's an agent section here as well, all right, so this is pretty cool, because actually what it does here is, if we look at the hint section here, all right, hint, A to A, agent to agent, it lets two services talk directly, so you can trigger tasks across different apps, use the external agent card to pick an agent to agent compatible agent and get started okay this, this is really cool now so we're getting to the point where you're building agents which actually talk and work amongst each other okay so you're essentially the way i think about it is you're creating your own employees for your small business medium business or, or large-scale business and let's be real like the more you train these the more you utilize these the more effective they're going to be the more your money you're going to be able to save in the long term you know not great for people working behind a computer because quite frankly I think a lot of these roles you know they're starting to get replaced in the next couple of years you know with the way AI is going at the moment okay we've got a code block section here as well if you want to be looking at popping in some Python code here for example as well all right and we've also got a data formatter there as well so yeah just in regards to you know bringing in those Slack files again all you do is basically upload to your data sources the actual files that you do want to upload okay so use a personal file and then it's as simple as kind of like just dragging and dropping it onto this workflow here you just might want to adjust this a little bit so I like the visuals of it okay depending on where you want to have it there just make sure that's aligned okay for instance just as an example okay to have that there so really cool to, to just be able to see that visually i think that really helps and then say for example you are happy with that after you've tested it and you can actually go ahead and publish that and the agent version has been uploaded okay previewing version here okay so that's the our agent there our untitled agent okay and you can actually go ahead and name the agent so let's just say it's a slack bot you know we can name him slack bot just for example all right yeah slack bot Okay, agent updated successfully. All right, you've got different, you know, interface behavior section here. Okay, allow speech conversation mode. Okay, pretty cool. You can upload that. Okay, you can process each upload individually. All right, if you want to chuck on loop over on uploaded files, for instance. All right, lots of different little customizations which you can do here, which is really, really cool. Also, a little section over here in the settings where you can change your settings here, okay? So, if you want to change up, like, the icons, for example. So, say, like, this is, like, a filing one, right? So, you know, we want to upload the filing. All right, again, the agent name. Wanted to just call that, like, the Slack bot, for example. Okay, tagline. I'm super organized. You know, description. Organizers. Weekly. Uh, weekly team. Slack notes, for example. Okay. Department can be for the sales department, all right, you can enter a video, a category as well, and just save it all. Okay, so again, just so much you can customize, which is really important for just ultimately just being really organized when it does come to this. Now, if we go back to the actual home page, you can see right there, okay, so you can actually run the agent live, okay, and you can actually show its instant output, okay, and then once it's actually published, which we have actually done, okay, you can actually submit this to your community, okay, so other people can actually try your own agent for themselves, okay, so it's quite open source like that, which I think is really cool. Now, what's really cool is Area already has over 2,500 plus agents. They're all pre-built and you can remix all of them to really just find your ideal agent if you want to use somebody else's too. All right, folks. So yeah, you want to go ahead and get signed up for free and you want to go and try to start creating your own AI agent because I'm just going to be frank with you. All right. This is something if you've got a small, medium or large business, if you're not getting ahead in the game and learning about all this kind of thing, then you are going to be struggling no matter what sector you're in. There's over 2,500 plus agents that are already there that you can actually choose from. So even if you don't want to build your own agent, right, like I did in today's video, okay, then it doesn't matter. You can use somebody else's, all right? Again, it's free to sign up and get started. 
And it's really just as simple as that, folks. So if you like the video, like it, subscribe, turn notifications on, let me know what kind of agent you're creating in the comments section. If you do want to get signed up, remember, the link is at the top of the pinned comments of this video and at the top of the description. Hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you in the next one. What's also really cool about Area is that you can also actually add in any LLM that you actually want. OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, or Mistral, all inside one place inside the one builder.